In this video, we're going to take a look at a really cool knife from a really cool knife maker here, Nathan Suggs. And happened to be at a, at, a, at a kind of a get together for the Georgia Knife Makers Guild. I was looking at this table full of knives, and I, this one really struck my eye, and I thought it's pretty cool. A minute later, um, Nathan came up and said, "Hey, Bob, this is a knife I made, and I thought, that's the one I was looking at." So, I think I thought it was really cool. I think you're going to think it's really cool. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me. And I'm here, as I said, with Nathan Suggs uh, at a meeting of the uh, Georgia Knife Makers Guild. And like I said, I was looking at all these different knives on the table, and one of them really struck my eye, and I picked it up. That's actually one I picked up and looked at it a few minutes ago. And then uh, Nathan came up, and I was talking to him, and he said, hey, here's one I made. And I thought, you made this knife? Are you serious? So let me just show you this knife that Nathan made real quick so look at this I mean this is like wow this is it just I like cool stuff and this is a really cool knife would you look at that now and Nathan you said you also made the sheath right yes sir so how old are you Nathan 13 years old 13 years old take a look at this again 13 years old the fit and finish on this thing I just want you to see this really closely okay um, and then we'll talk to Nathan because this is, I mean, it is really, really nice. Um, you know, if you've seen many of my videos, you know I have reviewed a lot of knives, uh, from, from low-end knives to really super high-end knives. And I got to say, this knife, um, as far as fit and finish and ooh, the edge and, and everything, this knife absolutely is <laughs> It is as good or better than any we have looked at on the channel, and I'm just really, really impressed by this. It's just, uh, Nathan, you did an excellent job on this. Huh? So, yes, so how did you, at 13 years old, get started making knives? And you did a good job on the sheath, too, by the way. Uh, well, my neighbor, he's been making knives pretty much all his life. And, well, since I knew I wanted to make one because it's a skill that's not that often learned or taught. And so he said he'd teach me, and then we came in, and uh, he get well, we started off, we just had a piece of steel, and we cut out the rough shape. We grinded it down to, like, the actual shape of the knife, and then we heat treated it and stuff like that. Then we made the handle out of some uh, pieces of, we made some, I forgot the name, but some scales that are, and their scales and you would grind them down to the correct shape and then you epoxy them on there and then put the pins through so that way it stay and it's not going to come off and then after that we uh, polished it and everything and we made the sheath for it like this which you just take a piece of leather cut it in the right shape bend it and bend it to the correct angle and stitch it together like and it's going to turn out like this and then after that, we sharpened it and then made and polished it some more, so that way it's nice and really nice and shiny. And well, and then this is the finish right here, finished product. Looks awesome. It does look really, really awesome. We're gonna get some close-ups to this because I'm telling you, um, the the finish on this thing is just. Well, I'll bring it down here, probably down to this this table. We'll get for some light. And this it's is just really it's good. It's extremely sharp. Oh yeah, I can see that. It's real sharp. Look at that man, just shaving. Just, I'm Look at shaving that. right there, just by. <laughs> wow. Barely putting any pressure on it. So, what did you sharpen it with? How did you sharpen it? We put it in a vise, and then we uh, took it to the grinder, and then we put it at an angle on both sides until it got really sharp down to a thin, a really thin edge. But we did it with multiple grinders because, like. In the start, it's a really rough grinder, mm -hmm. and it leaves kind of a rolled edge, so we just keep going down, like, starts off at, like, 200 grit, then it goes, like, 400 grit, 800. We went up to, like, I think, 2,000 grit before we actually got it finished. We did that on the entire knife, and, and that's why one of the reasons it's so shiny, because most people, they don't go to, like, 2,000 grit. They only go to, like, 800, and then it ends up, it's still shiny, but if you go to 2,000, it's going to be more shiny. Wow. And, yeah. So, are you going to sell this knife? I really doubt that. It's my first knife. I wouldn't knife. sell it if I were you. There's no way. And I, you, you better hang on to this. And this is like, this is your first knife. I just want you to hear that's his first knife. That's just amazing. Because I hadn't even made a knife. But I guarantee if I made my first knife, I have a real, real hard time believing that it would turn out that nice. So, um, wow. Nathan, I, I got to tell you, I am very, very impressed. So, you think this is something you're going to continue doing? Yes, sir. Maybe for a living or just for a hobby? Hobby. 
but that's likely. a good, pretty cool hobby. So, uh, have you have you made any more knives? No, sir. Um, <clears throat> I'm in the waiting list to make another. I Kidding. just yeah. Whenever he has the time, I'm. Man, that's great. So you got these really cool pins in here. And this is just wow. Again, really, really impressed, Nathan. Thanks so much for taking time to talk to us and show us your really, really cool knife. This is probably one of the coolest knives I've seen in a long time, and I've seen a lot of knives. Um, and wow this is just really cool man so I, my advice to you would be to keep doing it because i think you've got obviously you've got the uh you've got a gift in doing this you're really good at it. i've seen some first knives before i've seen some people that made knives for a living to sell these knives that aren't this nice i'm telling you so you did a great job so sneak peek of his younger brother he made it when he was 12. he he got his birthday <laughs> but anyway so so um anyway it, the Georgia Knife Makers Guild is, is a group of guys that, that make knives from anything from stock removal to, to blacksmithing from a piece of piece of steel or whatever. Pretty cool. It's my first time I'm actually you know hanging out with these guys, and I'm really glad I did because if for no other reason, just because I got to see this really cool knife from this really cool knife maker. So um, Nathan, thanks again, and stay sharp, brother. Yes, sir. And as always, thank you for watching. You can stay here. As always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday and Saturday and very often random videos throughout the week. You can check out a new one right here. If you're not subscribed, please click right down there and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.